Hello, everyone, and welcome to the unofficial Beauxjour Senior Hockey League podcast. I'm your host, Corey, joined by my co-host, Corey. I am here. He is here. Uh, <laughs> we're just a day away from the start of the season in Miramichi, Friday night at the Civic. Um, Corey, how are you feeling? Uh, excited. Very excited for this season. Uh, I think uh, we're going to have a fantastic season of hockey. And I can't wait to see uh, most of these teams anyway. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start it off this week. We've got a lot to go to this week. Um, yeah. We're going to discuss the week one schedule. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the announcements that the teams have made. Not too many announcements here in this last week, but we'll talk about it. And um, we're going to kick it off, though, with our season prediction. So right. let's predict who's going to be the champion of the Beauxjour Senior Hockey League come March. Okay. Um, you want me to start or you? Um, oh, let's do rock, paper, scissors. All right. It makes for a really good podcast. Here we go. <laughs> oh, two, three, shoot. Oh, scissors, 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 scissors. Scissors, scissors. All right, let's go one more time. All right, Corey crushes. I'll go first. Um, I'm sure that made for great listening. You guys are all welcome. Um, and girls, every, everyone's welcome. So um, my prediction this year, given the signings, um, I think they've really, really gone out and solidified their team this offseason. Their goaltending's gone... Uh, through the roof, in my opinion. I think they've got some young talent. They've got some veterans. They've got some grit. I think they have what it takes to go deep into the season, and I think they have depth. And in this league, having depth is priceless. Um, I think the champion of the Beauxjour Senior Hockey League this year will be the Miramichi Northman. Okay, interesting. Um, you think that I'm going to pick the Hawks and I am picking the Hawks to make the finals. Okay. Uh, versus Miramichi. Okay. I think the Hawks will play very well. I think Miramichi takes it in six games. You think Miramichi takes it. Um, I was out at the, the intra squad game last Friday and uh, I was there with my girlfriend with Tracy and she's not her she's not a huge hockey fan. She mostly just goes to support my addiction and because she wants to spend a little bit of time with me, I guess. I don't know. She can do better. Anyway, um <laughs> she even she was like, they're really good. Like they're fast, they look they look good. And um, yeah, so Mary Machine, Mary Machine. That's pretty uh interesting. I, I don't I I could see the Hawks winning it this year. I could see Baktouche winning it. I could see every team has a chance. I, I, I really Buktush do think... taking a step back. You see Baktouche taking got, a step back? They've gotten younger. Uh, younger doesn't always mean better. That's fair. I think come November, they're going to be solid again. Yeah. And I think the same could be true for a lot of teams. Oh, um, yes. Week one. Let's get into it here. Uh, so, the puck drops Friday night, Bucktouche at Miramichi. Could be a finals preview. Who knows? It could um, be. It could very well be. 18 at the Civic. Should be a great game. It's going to be a packed house. Um, I know I'm making the trip, Corey. If you're not working, you're making the trip. Yep. We're uh, going to have a great time. I think this is going to be uh, Miramichi by a blowout. Um, yeah. I just don't think Bucktouche is quite ready yet, and I don't think that's anything against them. I just think come November. Um, although we did get that, we did get to talk to Alex Collette, and he said he is starting a net with Collette and net. You never know. Yeah, they could easily steal one right there, and it could easily be a 3 2 game. It could easily be 6 1 for me or Michi. Yeah, I, th- I agree with you there. I think we, who knows what's going to happen. Um, Second game of the week is Dalhousie in Bucktouche at the JK. Um, it should be an interesting game. We won't be there. Um, looking no. forward to finding out what happens. Hopefully, I can see a couple of videos. Uh, should be a very uh, close game. Um, yeah. Um, 
I I don't know much about the Dalhousie players. They're one of those teams that just like they just they're out of my view. They're out of my sight right now. So I don't see a lot of them. Uh other than what you tell me. Uh Baktouche, we've seen them. Um it should be a fun game though. Yeah, it should be a good game. Um Saturday night we also at uh at the oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up the name. The Dr. Carson and Marion Murray Community Center in Spring Hill, Nova Scotia, where you can get Paisano's Pizza. I didn't mess up the name. Go me. Um, <laughs> we're going to have shipping it in Spring Hill. That should be a really close game, really tight game. Yeah, that should be really good. Um, yeah, I, that, flip a coin, take your pick on this one. Uh, the last game on Saturday night, Miramichi in River Valley. Um, that should Miramichi, be very interesting. It's good. I'm expecting it to be a pretty rough game. It should be a pretty good time. I'm making the trip out there. Um, I'll be making it for that one for sure. No predictions. No predictions for me other than a good time and we'll eat a good cheeseburger. I can guarantee you there's the one of the best, one of the best cheeseburgers in the league. Um, <laughs> so that's week one. Um, let's start to discuss some of the announcements from some of the teams. First of all, have you seen the River Valley? the asking the players questions thing. I have not. You've talked to me about it, but I haven't gotten around to seeing it yet. I get excited every time one gets posted. Like I love it. So they have one from Zach Whitlock. Have you seen it? No, I've not. I've not seen right, anything. This is, this is going to be a live reaction from Corey as I read it to him. So okay. they asked Zach Whitlock, what's your favorite food? You said chicken nuggets and fries. It's a, tr- a legit answer. It's fine. That's um, good. Where it starts to get fun is um, what's your hidden talent? Uh, blindfolded Oreo taste testing. <laughs> if you could have dinner with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? He said uh, it would be Devin Munn because we both like buffets. That's a, it's a brilliant <laughs> answer. Um, uh, if you're famous, what would you be famous for? Catching the biggest fish? Uh, it gets really fun here at the bottom. Um, do you collect anything? Uh, seashells and gas receipts. <laughs> um, and let me see. There was one more that made me laugh. Uh, which teammate is the best to follow on social media? His response was Brett McLean because he posts pictures of his girlfriend. <laughs> this some of these guys have taken it a little bit seriously some of them like zach whitlock are just having fun and i'm loving it man they're all great posts that is, that's get what, over to the it's uh, a fun game it's a fun thing to do to get to know the players a little bit so get over to the river valley facebook page if you haven't checked it out they've got lots of players posted some are absolutely a hoot so uh, hats off to the lumberjacks for making this happen and uh, what a fun way to introduce your team uh, the other thing that we're going to get to is the track of the Alpines. So they made an announcement yeah. uh, earlier this week. Um, the start of the season for the Alpines has been pushed back. The first local game is going to be Friday, the 20th of October, not the 13th of October. It was supposed to be track versus river Valley on Friday. That's been pushed back. Um, consequently, the direction of the team has decided to hold another uh, day of training camp and from what i'm understanding they've kind of got a low turnout so there's going to be some decisions made next week about the future of the team which um you know the north division champions last year the track of the alpines were a fantastic yeah uh, it, it would be horrible to see uh see them have to miss out this year horrible and then a little shocking because it there's a history there, you know, it's, it's a hockey city. I, I really don't understand why there would be such a low turnout, but uh, yeah. it is what it is, I guess. Um, hoping for the best because you drop one team, that's less hockey for us. Absolutely. Um, I've been talking with a few fans from the area and some fans of the league, and uh, they've been kind of saying that they're hoping that this is a wake-up call and that some players get out there and try out. And Trackety is a great little town. They deserve their... They're passionate mm-hmm. about their senior hockey. They deserve their senior hockey. I want to get to track and see a couple games this year, so I hope everything goes well there. But um, that is – that's an unfortunate update that we bring you, but uh, it's it's just something that's going on right now. 
Um, the other thing uh, we're going to talk about, uh, Jan Plob is a, uh, a very good player that has been signed by the uh, Marchand out of Schipigan. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, they, uh, they open their season in Spring Hill and then they have the first home game next Friday against the Miramichi Northmen. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's not an easy one-two punch for them for sure. Spring Hill's going to have no. a great team. Um, talk no, about but Spring you got to fight, fight them at some time. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely. Spring Hill announced their full roster and there's a lot of familiar faces. Uh, oh, yeah. Jesse Doyle, or, or Jesse Doyle, J- Jesse Cox is about Josh, Josh Doyle. Doyle. Josh Doyle is back. Um, one of the better <sighs> goalies in the league. Uh, Matt Stone's back. Robert Davis. You know, you're looking at pretty much the same defensive team. Most of the same. Most of the same forwards. Um, they're going to be a, a, a team this year. Now we had a discussion yesterday with uh, with the owner of the Spring Hill Coal Miners, co-owner of the Spring Hill Coal Miners, David Boyce. Yes, and we did. He talked a bit about what they recorded last year. Yep, and, uh, um, we uh, we had a great little interview with him. Uh, it'll be lost media forever, unfortunately, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll get him back on uh, Wrestling with the Bros, and we'll probably get him here on BSHL. But uh, sort of an interesting, and in- probably like to me, if we would have known this during the season it would have made going to Spring Hill that much more interesting. Yeah. So they recorded a kind of like a true life, but semi-scripted story where a local guy buys a hockey team and he brings it back to his hometown. And Dave Boyce is a guy who buys a hockey and brings it back to his hometown. Um, should be very interesting. That's going to be on SwearNet, which is where you can find the Trailer Park Boys and uh, Turnbuckles is there. Lots of good stuff. Turnbuckles. Right? Uh, I think um, they got a few things. I think it was bullshit. Yeah. Um, Dave the Boyce. Trimera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave Boyce is a uh, wrestling promoter. Good guy. He um, has a great podcast, uh, the Arson Around podcast. If you've never checked yeah. it out, check it out. Pretty good time. Yep. Um, I think yeah, he was su- he was super cool with us. It was great with Couldn't us. Have asked for I, a better first guest. Yeah, no, fantastic guy for the uh, for the wrestling with the bros podcast. Um, and in, in a way, they they bring the team to Spring Hill to record this show, but the city actually kind of the town of Spring Hill falls in love with this team really, and uh, yeah. they have a great turnout game in game out. They've got a fun team on the ice, so. Uh, you know, win win for everyone, win for us because we get to go have Paisano's pizza. Yep, I've said Meek it before. Uh, yeah, uh, I've said it before. My second favorite team in the league are the coal miners because, other than hockey, I'm the biggest wrestling fan there is. Uh, most of his staff are wrestlers and referees and stuff like that. Um, so it, it's a good time. It's a good time. What, uh, what do you like more in Spring Hill? Do you prefer the pizza or do you prefer that they have a mascot? I love their mascot. Their mascot is, I think it's the only mascot in the league, right? I think it is. Uh, the mascot's pretty cool. Um, pizza's pretty good too, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a one, two. It's one, two. It's very close. It's one A um, and one B. One A and one B. So, um, yeah, that's. You know, the Hawks have made a couple announcements. We know that things have been announced. We're still waiting to see about Denny Crate. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the elephant in the room right now. Yeah. Um, if uh, So if you're watching this on Thursday or listening to it on the podcast on Thursday, tomorrow on the channel we're going to have an interview with uh, Jeanette Duero, the uh, general manager of the Bucktooth JCs. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's going to come to you the same night as Buck drops the league. Um, pretty excited. Yeah. Um, I was there for that interview. Uh, I, we won't get into what they talked about. Um, it, it, you can tell that the Bucktouche area really loves the JCs. 
And you can tell that the staff and everybody working there, that's their team. Yeah. That's going to be a staple in Bucktoosh for years and years to come. And I think the steamers are just going to add to that. Yeah, I agree with that. Bucktoosh is a great hockey town. It's a beautiful mm-hmm. rink. And, the best uh, in the league, I think. Popcorn chicken poutine. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. Uh, if you're listening to the podcast and you never check the YouTube channel, there are some interviews coming up on this podcast in the second half that uh, you're going to hear with the popcorn chicken poutine. Get ready. Got to try it our first time in Bucktoosh for the first game. I can't wait. Um, yeah, it's coming quick. So uh, that's all we got for tonight. Uh, thanks a lot, Corey, for being here as before always. Before you go, before we oh, go, oh, oh, you oh, forgot one is, little thing. This is unscripted. Go, Corey. This is unscripted because you forgot something. Go ahead. Game of the week. What is it? Oh, what is your game prediction? Of the, week. the game of the week. We already made the prediction. I think the game of the week is Miramichi and River Valley. And I agree. Um, so there we I go. Think, now we're done. Now we're done. I think that was a, uh, yeah, it should be a great game. It's going to be a good time. I can't wait to get out there with the fans. That's just the only fun. one I'm guaranteed to be there for. Guaranteed to be there for. Um, yeah, I can't miss that one. We can't wait. Finally, it's here. The season starts. It's, literally a day away. Um, Corey, thank you. Did thank I forget you for anything having else? Uh, tell the fans to enjoy this season. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Thank you for listening. Uh, it's been a, a great few weeks since we launched, and uh, we're looking forward to bringing you more content in the future. So um, for Corey, this is Corey. We are the Corys. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.